Hey y'all. I'm just starting to get into bling and cups don't sit still. So we're gonna figure that out. I keep all of my old Cricut rolls. And so that's what I'm gonna try to use today. All right, so I got two full rolls and one I've already cut off of. Made my true control knife. My scissors that can be used for things like this. I'm gonna need glue and maybe even tape. We'll see when we get that far. Okay guys, again, just my plan. I've got the two full rolls. I ripped off the hanger parts. One roll I've already used, so there's not an exact measurement involved here. My thought is I'm gonna cut it in half. I'll put half of it at the top and half of it at the bottom. I wanna have some space open in here for the tumbler. So, not even half, right? Probably a third. Let's see how it goes. Always be safe Do not cut yourself. I like the True Control knife because it doesn't roll away. I got the True Control weeding kit. It came with the extra tips, but I honestly just wanted it for this. picked up these little green mats at Dollar Tree. I love them. I haven't spotted them again, otherwise I'd grab more. I always see people have the nice ones on their desk, the large protector, but this desk is a corner desk, so it kind of actually has a round front, and I haven't found anything sufficient. I used a Cricut mat turned upside down, an old one that wasn't sticky anymore. And that worked great. Uh, my daughter uses them upside down when she paints and when she does art. So tip, if you're ever looking to get some extra uses out of things that don't have much life anymore. So my guess was three inches off that first one. So I'm gonna do my best to try to stick three inches on this one. Okay, so like I said, um, I guessed about a third and that looks pretty darn close, right? So these two are the most even and the closest. I'll get rid of this and probably actually still use it for something else. Pop the top on that so no accidents happen. I am going to fire up the glue gun and my first thought is we are going to have it just like this. Let's see how it goes. Okay y'all, I think the glue gun is good and warmed up. I know lots of crafters have really fancy, nice, cordless, and I just have this cute, colorful Walmart $6 one. I keep a little drip tray for it. Got my Dollar Tree finger protector. 
I think this is gonna go real smooth and I think the function of it is gonna be so awesome. Yeah, that warmed up well, I'm glad. Good part about the hot glue is it won't take long. It'll set quick off of us. And I don't want it to get crooked, so I'll hold it for a second. And I'll glue the other side too before I introduce that others. Because I don't want them to get crooked on me at all. I'm actually really glad I thought of this. Um, I know I've seen the pool noodle trick, uh, but ours got stored in the basement and they are full of cat hair. And so that's just not something I was looking to clean. And we just asked in a craft group on Facebook the other day about using the old cricket rolls. So hmm, this is a win. It's holding up nicely. I don't think it's like, you know, shotgun straight or anything crazy like that, but craft or straight for sure. Like I said, I'm super new to bling. Leave me all your tips and tricks in the bottom. I have done two tumbler lids and one tumbler. That's set real quick because it is cold. I'm in South Dakota. Look, she's not going anywhere. I'm gonna unplug the glue gun. My first cup I did with E6000 and some puffy paint. Just a Walmart cup that I had. When I first started cricketing, I had bought, I believe it was a four pack. And then now I'm working on this second one with some UV resin I picked up on clearance at Walmart. I have already done the lid. This is solid. This was a cracked lid. This is a test for me. So any tips and tricks anyone wants to share, I'm here. If you'll leave a comment and if you wanna give a thumbs up or subscribe, that'd be really cool. Have a beautiful day.